In a recent company meeting, Elon Musk shared some interesting details with employees about his master plan part three that's currently in development. And from what Elon Musk has revealed so far, I believe it's safe to say that this new master plan will be his most ambitious master plan yet and will, as he mentioned, involve shifting the entire energy infrastructure of the Earth. Yes, you definitely heard that right. This goal is actually going to involve shifting the entire energy structure of the entire Earth. This is quite an ambitious goal. Stick around as I reveal the new details that Elon Musk revealed about this new master plan part three and what it could mean for Tesla's future. I'm John and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Back in 2006, Elon Musk shared what he called his master plan for Tesla on Tesla's blog. In short, the plan was to build a sports car and that ended up being the Tesla Roadster, the original Tesla Roadster. And then this plan involved using the money from that first sports car to build an affordable car, which became the Model S. And then the goal was to use that money to build an even more affordable car, which became the Model 3. And the last goal involved manufacturing solar panels. Obviously, if you're familiar with Tesla, you know that they accomplished this master plan part one. But 10 years later, Elon Musk put out his master plan part two in 2016. Nevertheless, although the master plan part two has not been completely accomplished yet, Elon Musk is working on master plan part three. On March 16th of this year, Elon Musk went to Twitter and mentioned that he's working on master plan part three. A few days later, Elon Musk went to Twitter and provided some further details about this master plan when he mentioned, quote, main Tesla subjects will be scaling to extreme size, which is needed to shift humanity away from fossil fuels and AI. But I will also include sections about SpaceX, Tesla, and the Boring Company. So interestingly enough, this master plan this time is going to involve a lot more than just Tesla. As he mentioned, it's going to involve the Boring Company, SpaceX, and also Tesla's um, AI department, which is eventually going to include the Tesla robot. Now, when it comes to what Elon Musk revealed at the employee meeting, according to this Electrek article from June 9th, quote, Elon Musk has revealed more details about what his new Tesla master plan part three will be about during a new company-wide meeting with employees held last night. This article went on to talk about how Musk was asked by an employee about the details of the new plan. And Elon Musk said, Master Plan Part 3 is all about achieving very large scale. In order to shift the entire energy infrastructure and transport infrastructure of Earth, there has to be a very high scale. We have to ask, what is the actual tonnage? If we work backward from, let's say, about 300 terawatt hours of installed capacity in vehicles and stationary battery packs, then how do you achieve that tonnage from a mining and refining standpoint? but also do so in a sustainable way. This article went on to say that Elon Musk said to kind of summarize this all, that's what master plan part three is. How do you get to enough scale to actually shift the entire energy infrastructure of Earth? Now notice that Elon Musk mentioned that he was working backwards from 300 terawatt hours of installed capacity, of course, both with electric vehicles and stationary storage, but that's a huge amount of batteries. And just to put that into a little bit of perspective, Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada is currently able to produce somewhere around 39 gigawatt hours of 2170 cells per year. It would take that factory over 7,000 years at that rate to produce 300 terawatt hours of batteries. Now, obviously that's not Tesla's only factory producing batteries. Tesla is currently ramping up battery production and starting battery production at Gigafactory Texas. And that battery production will soon begin at Gigafactory Berlin in Germany as well. And the goal is for those factories, at least um, in the future, to produce somewhere around 100 gigawatt hours per year of 4680 batteries. Tesla also has their Pilot 4680 battery line at Fremont, which at full capacity should be able to produce somewhere around 10 gigawatt hours of batteries. So in the somewhat near future, with everything running at full capacity, when everything's ramped up, Tesla could be producing somewhere around 249 gigawatt hours of batteries per year in their own manufacturing facilities. Obviously 249 gigawatt hours of batteries being produced per year is a huge number, but once again, when you put that in the perspective of 300 terawatt hours of batteries, 
Even if Tesla were producing 249 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, it would still take Tesla over 1200 years to produce 300 terawatt hours of batteries. Now, of course, eventually Tesla plans to produce batteries at a terawatt hour scale because at battery day, they mentioned with this slide that by 2030, they hope to be producing somewhere around three terawatt hours of batteries per year. But once again, even if Tesla were producing three terawatt hours of batteries per year to reach 300 terawatt hours accumulatively, that would still take 100 years for Tesla to be able to do that. I believe when you realize the massive scale of this plan, it becomes obvious that Tesla cannot do this alone, and they're going to have to involve quite a few other companies in order to reach these kind of goals. In his statements, according to the Electric article, remember that Elon Musk also mentioned mining and refining of raw materials. So this master plan will apparently include details about how Tesla plans to get involved in mining and refining. And uh, uh, that's gonna be a big thing as well, where Tesla could not only use for themselves, but that they sell to other people as well. Tesla has apparently already started down this road because according to this Quartz article, Tesla already owns the rights to a lithium claim deposit spread over 10,000 acres of Nevada. Now, moving back to some of those details that Elon Musk revealed in that employee meeting, once again, remember that he mentioned that he wanted to make this plan such that it involved shifting the entire energy infrastructure of the earth. That involves a lot and then involves really basically replacing pretty much all internal combustion engine vehicles currently in use. Now, obviously, Elon Musk and Tesla have some very big goals for future EV production. And as Elon Musk has mentioned in the past, they're definitely aiming for a large number, like somewhere around 20 million vehicles being produced per year by 2030. And while that's a lot of vehicles, when it comes to how many vehicles are actually in use worldwide, that's just a drop in the bucket. According to Statista.com, Worldwide in 2021, there were approximately 66.7 million cars sold. As a side note, Tesla was responsible for almost a million of those vehicles being sold in 2021. In addition, according to estimates from HedgesCompany.com, there are about 1.446 billion vehicles on Earth in 2022. Now, if you do a little bit of just rough basic math, if you replace all 1.446 billion vehicles with electric vehicles, and they had an average battery size of around 80 kilowatt hours, this transition would require somewhere around 115.7 terawatt hours of batteries. So if you subtract 300 terawatt hours from that 115.7 terawatt hours, you're left with somewhere around 184.3 terawatt hours for battery storage. Tesla does offer some battery storage options like the power wall for residential use, the power pack for businesses and small utilities, and the mega pack for larger utility setups. But nonetheless, as a reminder, once again, the kind of scale that it's going to take to be able to produce that many batteries and to put out that much stationary storage is not something that Tesla can do alone. This is going to involve a lot of other people getting involved and Tesla partnering with, selling, or licensing out technology to other companies. So although we don't have all the details, I believe it's easy to see that Tesla's master plan part three is going to be huge, involve more than just Tesla, and could indeed lead to Tesla being the largest company in the world. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.